you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Well, if, if, if I'm completely honest, um, I'll have to admit, logically, I'll have to admit that, you know, scientifically, there are some things that don't make sense. Uh, you know, the sun setting again, it, it doesn't make sense. You can lie, you can say, okay, it's how someone saw it and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you're fooling yourself, to be honest, and I don't want to do that either, because, you know, it's a matter of salvation. It's not... Exactly. Uh, for me, yeah, for me... It's, for me, um, it's it's clear. Um, you know, in my heart, I always had doubts and stuff, but now they, you know, you made them clear. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, I want to give you a verse. All right. Uh, so you said you are a Muslim first, right? Yes. And what kind of Muslim you are? Uh, I'm a Sunni Muslim. All right. Give me a verse, my friend. Um, uh, Surah 8, verse 33. Surah 8, verse? 33. 33. Okay, read it for us. Go ahead. I'll read it in English. Okay. okay. Call upon me. I will respond to you. What? what? Call upon me. I will respond to you. But this is not the chapter 8, verse number 33. 8, 33, yes. It doesn't oh, say sorry, it. sorry. No, no, I'm, I made the mistake. I made the mistake. Um, mm. It's 40, 60. Chapter 40? Verse 60. Okay, chapter 40, verse 60. All right. Go ahead, read it for us. Call up on me. I will respond to you. Okay, and did that happen? Yes. To who? To everyone who calls upon him. All right. Well, your prophet, he been challenged to have a miracle every day in his lifetime. And Muhammad in the Quran keeps saying that Allah refrain from sending miracles. So how he call him and I will answer you. The Quran is a miracle. Well, hold on. The Quran says that Allah refrain from giving miracles. Is that true? Giving miracles to other prophets. He refrained to give miracles to Muhammad. Muhammad had many miracles. Well, the Quran then is a contradiction because here we go. This is Quran speaking about Muhammad, not about others. Here we go. Read for me chapter 17 verse number 59. Uh, on your YouTube channel, yes? You can read it in your book from your side, doesn't matter. Chapter 17, verse number 59. Let me open it up. And we can open One for sec. you any translation you wish. Which translation you like? Which translation is Wait. your favorite translation? Uh, Piktal. Here we go, Piktal. All right. So what do you think? Allah, he says, he refrained from sending miracles. So how Allah, he says in that verse, ask me and I will answer you. And the people, the Arab, keep asking Muhammad and... Muhammad answered them, I have no miracles. Yes, but you know, inside inside the Quran, there are many miracles. Like what? Give me one. Uh, for example, um, that, that honey is a healer. It's what? Honey can honey can heal. Uh, I think it's Surah 86. Honey can heal? Verse right, well, hold on. Yes. Uh, but, okay, hold Surah on. Surah 16, verse 69. Yeah, but this is the, the honey can heal. This is exist in the Bible. And it's not a miracle of God. I mean, this is a... Uh, you know, something people they knew before a long, long time. People use honey for it. But let me show you as long as you are saying. Uh, uh, Surah 16, verse 68. No, no problem. Okay. Uh, in the Quran, your God, he made a mistake. Speaking about that verse. Because that verse, it says that the bees, they eat the fruits and they do poo-poo and their poo-poo is honey. That's not correct. I read it. This is the chapter you gave me, verse number sixty-nine. Yes, I know. Okay, read it. What they eat, what they are, what their food, according to the Quran. You look, it says wherein is healing for mankind. My friend, mankind. my friend, read the verse. They eat from the yes. fruit and they do poop honey. It's in the front of. Yes, you. they eat fruit. Yes, that's okay, but, that's but, true. but the bees but eat no, fruit. No, the bees don't eat the fruit. This is not true. 
They do. No, Shall they I show eat, you? No, the bees, they eat honey. The food is, their no, food is honey. No, show you. I can show you. My friend, the bees, their food is honey. So your God, Allah, he is an ignorant. He think that bees, they eat a fruit and they poop honey. I will show you. Okay. My friend, does it say in the front of you, they eat fruits? Okay, what is, so what yes. is the honey? So the bees, when they make yeah, honey, they, okay, well, let me ask you. So what is the honey? Why the bees, they have honey? What is that? They suck the nectar out of the fruit. All right, but the nectar, they don't eat it as nectar. They eat the honey, correct? No, they produce honey. They don't eat honey. So, so, they suck so, the so why they the produce fruit. honey? Why they produce honey? Because they transform the nectar that they suck why, from why? the food. Why they want to? Why, why they want to? Okay, you said that the nectar is their 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 uh, their food, correct? Yes. Okay. So why they don't eat just the nectar as it is? Why they make it honey? Because that's what comes out from the bodies. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. Your God Allah is saying that they eat honey and they do poop honey. <laughs> they eat they eat they eat the fruit and they eat honey. They they poop honey. And you agreed with Allah. And this is a mistake. Yeah, but that's a miracle because what's a miracle? They, they are eating the they are eating they are eating the fruit but this is false the bees Look, don't read. eat the fruits they do they eat they eat um the fruit they suck the nectar and then um they produce honey thank you the nectar they suck it but they don't eat it they suck it they collect the nectar they go to their hives and then they transform the the nectar into honey so you're a prophet and your god think that those bees they eat a fruit and they do poop honey and then we collect their poop yes but that, that look okay can, no 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 listen they suck the nectar mm. they produce honey mm. okay mm. and that honey is a healing for mankind okay so but, so that's a miracle how can you say heal, um, honey is uh, healing for mankind well, this is you can go right now type in google the uh, the word honey in the bible you will see the bible saying the same and this is a book long written before muhammad so show me show, show me that show okay, me that if if i show you what you would do then i would say this is not a miracle because it was known before so anything is known before you were rejecting the quran Yes, because it's it's not it's no miracle because if it was known before, mm. it's like me saying the 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 earth is not flat. Everyone knows that that's not a miracle. All right. Do you understand me? All right. I understand you. Yeah. Go ahead. I've sent I've sent you a link on Skype. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't open links in Skype. You can you can read from. Oh, me. okay. No, it it it's an article saying that uh, uh, bees suck the nectar after. We fruit. know, we know that bees they suck the nectar. We know that, my friend. It's not a secret. But, from they, the but they don't eat the nectar. They transform the nectar. Yes, they transform. Yeah, that's okay, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. This is a verse from the Bible in the front of your eyes. It says that from the honey there is a sweet and to soul health to the bones, even to the bones. This is one verse. There's many verses. So what your prophet he brought that is it's a, it's healing. This is something people of old they knew long time before Muhammad. What a big deal. What, what what's honeycomb? Uh, honey, the honey, the honey. Let me look it up. One second. Okay. Well then, well then I guess that's not a miracle if it was known before. Okay, give me the from miracle then. Uh, the the splitting of the moon. Okay, splitting of the moon. The moon is not split. The moon is there. No, but it was split. No, if the moon is split for a second, the moon will be divided into two parts. Correct? Yes. Okay. It's called an eclipse. And if you, okay, thank you. So the eclipse is the moon split. Sorry. Is the moon eclipse? Is the moon splitting? No. Okay, so why you are is the way we see it. So why you are saying it's a miracle? Because it was actually split as in in two. It wasn't one. Okay. And wh what is the point of this miracle, which nobody see? Um, to make the unbelievers believe the, the ones at that time. And did they believe? The pagans. Did they believe? 
Some of them, yes. No, here we go. And that will be the contradiction for this verse. That your, your God, he says to Muhammad, that I refrain from sending miracles because people, they will not believe. So, and this verse came long after. So how Muhammad, he says that Allah, he split the moon, but then we find a verses came in after that verse saying that Allah refrained from sending miracle. Mm. This verse came after the moon, chapter 17, verse number 59. It came after the moon splitting. Okay, so that means there's a contradiction. Nothing, I don't think nothing stop us from sending ayat or miracles to the people except that people of all they deny it but this is not true christians they believe in the miracles of jesus and the miracles of moses and miracle of the prophet so this is a false excuse uh, it's not it's not talking about the christians it's talking about the pagans of the arabia it doesn't matter but there, there's people there are people okay so if but if if people of all they reject them and don't you muslims you say muhammad he married from a khadija and she was a christian Yes. Okay, so this is mean according to you Muslims, uh, Quraysh is have a, uh, there is a Christian people. So? No, because what, because what they no? are not in What no? No. No, because today they are not they are not Christians in Arabia. We are talking about the time of Muhammad, not now. This is happening in the time of Muhammad, my friend, not now. Yes, well. Hmm. So, um, uh, can can we can, you, can we go to um yeah, can we go to Surah 86, verses 5 to 7? Okay, 86. Eight, yeah, 5 to 7. Are you sure you are a Muslim or you are making fun of Islam? No, I'm be because I saw you mentioned this before and oh, okay. I want to um, explain it to you. Oh, okay, go ahead. Explain it to us. Basically, uh, you know, he says, uh, coming from the uh, uh, lions of the man. Hmm. It's coming from the lions, and that is true really? if you look scientifically. How? So the, the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man? No, it, because in what was the word in Arabic? Sol. For, for, for the backbone. Sol. Yeah, but that means lions, right? No, it means backbone, specifically. No, because I've looked at other translations, and they say instead of backbone, they say okay, lions. Okay, 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 of, okay uh, let, let me ask you what. You, Okay, what the lions mean? What the word? What that word mean? Um, genitals from from uh, the testicles. This word mean uh, that? Really? Yeah, go to the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Okay, we'll go to Ibn Kathir. Here we go. It's in front of us. Three. Or oh, actually, lion. They say lions. Okay, they don't, no, it don't says say it says it says in the front of us, backbone, and the translator he put between two brackets, which means Ibn Kathir did not say that. He said all. Yeah, lions. lions. Okay. But he said the backbone, right? Yeah, but look, all lions. Okay, what? Uh, but 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 even the lions, by the way, they are bones. No, they're not. Uh, here we go. I will take you to dictionary. Here we go, dictionary. I'll, I'll, I'll take it to English dictionary. Here we go. I have it in dictionary in front of me. It says that they are the the the, the, the ribs and the hip bones in front of you. Look, it says the region of the sexual organs, especially when regarded as the source of erotic or proactive yeah, power. Yeah, but here, but here it says this is this is the translator saying the word lions, lions. But the the Arabic it says backbone, and it's still he meant no, he meant the in bone. Arabic. In Arabic, it means both backbone and lions. No, my it can friend. Mean no, my either friend. or. Okay, no, no, this is not true. In Arabic, it means only bones and mean exactly the backbone. I've asked, I've asked an okay, Arabic speaker. Okay, let me ask, let me ask. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, do you know somebody who speaks Arabic? Yes, but um, I have a friend, but he's not next to me okay. right now. This is the dictionary. I will put it for you in the front of you on the screen. Read for me what the dictionary says. This is your Arabic Islamic dictionary. This is what the word sold me. So, yes, uh, but it can also mean lions, can't it? No, it doesn't. How do you say lions in Arabic? Uh, there's many words. I mean, like, 
Yeah. Arabic but is look, very none of them is the bad because it's not a, it's not the bomb. This is the okay, backbone. So my friend, my friend. That's the word solve. The word solve is specifically the backbone. You can go and open any interpretation you want. You said to me Ibn Kathir, right? Here we go. This yeah. is Ibn Kathir. Hmm. This is Ibn Kathir, meaning the backbone or the ribs of the woman. Do you see it? Yes, but it, you know, okay. if you go to a Jalalain, let's go to another thing. They no, also sorry. say. Let us go lions. to a Jalalain. Hold on. I will go to a Jalalain. Lions. Remember, remember, this is your choice, right? Yes. I'm just trying to clarify. Is. Yeah, you can I'm not trying to be my friend, contradict my friend. you. You are reading, you are reading your own Islamic translation, and even your Islamic translation is proving Islam to be false. Let us go to Al Jalalain. <clears throat> okay. Do you agree with the Jalalain? I can't see it's how can you agree it with the Jalalain and this is the Muslim translation again the Jalalain it says in Arabic clear. clearly this is the backbone see from the between the lines of the man and the breast yeah the lions the here they made the backbone I can show it to you in Arabic and you can read it but let me ask but you, you okay lines. you know what I will go with you let's just wait do you agree with the Jalalain mm -hmm. here saying that this is a sperm coming from the man and the women the, the, yeah. the lions of the man and the ribs of the women yeah. Okay. So do you agree that Allah saying that there's women have a sperm and the sperm is coming from, the, from their ribs? Wait, let, let's clarify the man thing first and then we'll go to the... the no, no, both. Because the... we, we don't want to uh, argue for false, you know, because you are simply make, yeah, making, a, a... making a statement. You can prove it. I can prove it easy. I can switch right away to Arabic. It says it clearly as solved that it is the backbone. Very easy yeah, for me, I can do it, but you don't speak Arabic. In the tafsir, in the tafsir it translates as lines. In the, tafsir, in the tafsir, in the front of us, I can go right now, and I go to the tafsir, and I will choose any tafsir you want, and you will see all of them, they agree with me. So, no, they agreed with me. Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Kathir and Jalalain Here we go, me, Ibn Kathir in the front of you. Don't stop stop playing games. This is Ibn Kathir. You see the page in the front of you? I'm playing games. Do you see Ibn Kathir in the front of you? This is the page. It says the backbone and the ribs. Do you see it? This is Ibn Kathir. The backbone, meaning the backbone or the lions of the man. Okay, so you are saying it is not the backbone. So if not the back if not the backbone, so what is why he is using the word lions unless he is he mean bones? This is what the word mean in here. So this is the it's backbone. The backbone this is right. Ibn Kathir saying the word backbone. Explain to me why Ibn Kathir is saying the word backbone. Uh, in, bra in bracket it says lions. Exactly. This is mean it's not Ibn Kathir saying that. This is the translator. So it's definitely backbone. It must be backbone. This is a translator trying to fix it. He says the etc. But Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, same as a Jalalain, same as a Jalalain. You are reading translation. If you go, Al Jalalain says uh, lions. It doesn't say backbone. No, it says backbone. You want to bet? Yes. Okay, let us go. Let's go. Let us go to a Jalalain. Al Jalalain, the Seer of Jalalain. Here we go. Hmm. And I can give you a name. Yeah, you mean between the soul, the rajul, and the raib of the mara, and it is the sadr. Did you understand anything? Yes. Hmm. What what it says? Go ahead. Uh, got, there's a gastric fluid coming from. Um, the lines of a man and it doesn't uh, say line. Why it says the word line? Do you see that? Show me which one. Well, which word? It says, it says which the word? Backbone. <laughs> the backbone. <laughs> so it's the backbone and the 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 women breast bones. But don't you think this is stupid? Both of them are wrong, because neither the man, neither the women, they have such a thing. Secondly, the women don't have a sperm. Number three, how in the world women who don't have a sperm at all? Yet he claimed that her sperm is coming from the location of the necklace. Well, the first part is true, but the second part I don't agree with it. But I've okay, so you are I saying to me that Allah he did lie in the second part. Second part, according no, to you. No, there's a doctor. It's called Doctor Moore who agrees. With I know Doctor Moore. Doctor Moore he did not speak about this, and the Muslim follow him. They speak about the nutfa. It's a different story. Which is Yes, but he agrees with this statement. No, he did not agree with this because then he never mentioned this. Don't don't lie. 
Dr. Moore. Actually, no, Dr. Moore, they give him the, the, the verse about Nutfa and they lie to him and they say to him the word uh, alaqa uh, mean a leech. But the fact the word alaqa does not mean that in the Quran. Yes, alaqa, is a congealed, alaqa is a congealed dead blood. And we can show all Islamic interpretation and they will get all those Muslim liars busted. They lie to this guy, lying to him, says this is what it means. The guy doesn't speak Arabic. But it doesn't say that. Yeah. But do you agree? No, don't, don't change, don't change. We will go there one by one. Okay. So now you agree that the second part, everybody heard you saying that at least the second part of the verse is wrong, correct? Scientifically, yes. It okay. hasn't been so what yet. kind of God he he uh, uh, half of the verse according to you is correct and half of the other verse is wrong because now the creation of the baby is wrong because as uh, as long half is right and half is wrong, it doesn't matter which half we have a wrong creation of the baby. Yeah, I think some the translators translated it wrong or something. My friend, who cares about translators? I speak Arabic. I read in Arabic. Okay, let me. Okay, what if we go and see what your prophet said? What do you think? Do your prophet understand how the baby is made? Yes. Okay. Let us see what if your prophet like... said. Whatever your prophet said, obviously your prophet he understand the Quran better than you and me, right? Yeah. Okay. Read with me. This thick and white. Water is thin and yeah, that's true. That's true. That's or the true. resembling part. I don't know about the resembling part, but I hmm. and um. The water being thick and white is true, and okay. What is the is water? Thin. What Muhammad he says the word water, for for both water of the women and water of the man. What is that water? Uh, the lubricant part. You know the, the the thing that comes at the beginning. All right. So you this is what make the baby. The this is what make the baby. No, that's not true. But this is what the Quran. This is what the Hadith is saying. Which of them comes first? The child will resemble the parent. Um, the thing about the water is true, but the resembling part, um, I don't think so. So you are saying to me that your prophet and your God Allah, half of their sentence is true and the other half is stupid. Is that what you are trying to say? The, 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 there has to be an interpretation behind it. Um, My friend, given the interpretation, here we go. He's describing for you. He claimed that man, he have a sperm and it's white. He called them both water. And it's gushing for this is the same interpretation for chapter uh, 86 verse number six and seven so the man water is thick and white the women water is thin and yellow and whoever of them comes first the baby will resemble the parent so about who come first who is going to control but the water of the women which he's talking about have nothing to do with the baby in any way Hmm. Yeah, and also it's not yellow, huh? Unless, uh, also, it's not yellow unless um, she has unless she uh, have infection. Like yeah, if she has unless she have sick. Yeah. yeah, but Muhammad looked like he made oh. he made his wife infected with something. He have an STD maybe, but this is not our topic. And is this is this a, a sahih? Um, hadith? Everything is sahih uh, unless you you uh, unless you are a Muslim, you say it is not sahih. Because all Muslims, they make what is unsahih, they say they say it's weak. Anything embarrassing, they say it is not sahih. No, it's, I'm being honest. I just No problem, to but this is what Muslims usually do. You can do the same if you want. I don't care. No, I don't do... No, no, no you no, did no, the same. Do you did exactly. I showed you what Ibn Kathir says about the backbone. You said, no, it's not no, the backbone. I was right. I, you, got, you got to be honest. I was right about lines. No, you were not. Lines. No, you were not. This is the translator. He put it between. Listen. You were, no, you were not. This, Here we go. This, this is Ibn Kathir, my friend, and you agreed. Ibn Kathir, he says the backbone and the translator put it, put it between two brackets. Correct? So, if yes. Ibn Kathir, if the one who explained the Quran says to you it's a backbone, it means it's the backbone. Bone is a bone. Yes. And the testicles yes. are not bones, are they? Isma, uh, uh, listen, um, um, Ajalan translated it as lions directly Without no he did not that, no this is the translator the, again this is the translator Jalalain did not say that this is again a false translation 
Okay, but you, are you talking about the Arabic bit? You're not talking about the translation, are you? I'm talking I'm about, talking the, about the Arabic stuff. too. I'm talking about the Arabic too. And look here, you, you see? Here we go. Let, let me show you. This is this is a, this is Ibn Kathir. Do you see Ibn Kathir? Why here yes. in the translator forgot to to add the word lions? Look at this. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So. Is it what this is what the Muslims understand for all this time? And I showed you your prophet explained the, the, the Quran. So this is how it's understood. This is what it's meant. And Ibn Kathir, he speaks Arabic very well. Don't tell me he did not know what he's talking about. So this is what the Arabic word means about a soul. But today, oh, so Muslims, in order to cover the shame and this, the stupidity in the Quran, they try to add between two bracket words. Like as an example, you will see in the hadith says a chromosome. Muhammad, he mentioned chromosome. But they try to cover up. So here, the backbone of the man, backbone is a backbone. It's so clear. Everybody knows what is what exactly it's a backbone. It's a certain yeah. bone in the body. So a friend of mine, a friend of mine who is Arab, he told me that our sub means um, lions. It doesn't mean backbone. Well, he's lying to you, as you see. Yes. Secondly, you me. secondly, yeah. as long you agree that Allah is wrong about the women reps, where his sperm is coming from that's mean this is gonna be from God anyway let us say for the sake of argument Muhammad was right about the first part which is not but how God can make such a mistake you do not know how he he is the one who made the baby you do not know where the sperm of the, the uh, of the man came from and he think that women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace because the word tarib is not the ribs by the way the word yes, tarib is the location of the necklace in the bones which mean if you put your finger right your neck you know your neck down okay that 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 space where your finger go and that the ribs they meet together the first two bones that is exactly the at the right huh the color bones the right. color bones Cor correct so this is exactly where allah claimed that women have a sperm coming from Yeah, I need to ask someone about this. Well, why you need to ask someone? Here we go. This is your Ibn Kathir. You are you are the one who asked me for Ibn Kathir. We have it in the front of you. We got you, your prophet explaining how this happened. Yes, because when this Arab friend explained it to me, he explained it differently. Friend, your Arab friend is not a friend because your friend should be truthful with you. If he is a friend, he's a liar. And as you see, I'm not showing you anything from my own. This is your Islamic web page. This is your Muslim translation, and this is all full of fabrication. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Tons of things which is in Arabic is taken out. So people don't laugh. Mm. Yes. Well, is it okay if I get him to give you a call? Um, sure, anytime. Tomorrow. No problem. No Next problem. Time you're on. But okay, but let me, uh, let me ask you, uh, my friend. As long you agree that there is, you discover with me from what you gave me. You are the one who asked me to read those verses, correct? Yes. Okay. From all the verses you gave me, we found that they have errors. So don't you agree now that Allah can't be God? Well, some things the, the, there's um, there's things that they open they, they are open to more than one interpretation. And My friend, it's not about interpretation. I showed you your private interpretation. Stop playing games. The word solb is the backbone. And women have no well, sperm. And the gashing fluid, yeah, right. the sexual fluid had nothing to do with the baby for the women. Most of Muslim women actually, they have no orgasm because they do circumcision for them. They don't do yeah, have that's true. You know, so when you have circumcision, yeah. the women, she will never have orgasm. That's mean the women, she will never have a child resemble her. No, but regardless, if the first part is true, if, if the second part is not true, then it cannot be a true statement. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I understand. That's what I'm saying to you. Because if, if one it's of them is wrong, that's mean Allah cannot be Allah. It, yeah. Um, For I didn't agree with... I'll be honest with you. Um, I didn't agree with this statement uh, okay, from the so, beginning. But, but I, was trying to, yeah. I was trying to stretch it some way and find a way to explain it. Okay. Um, but even the second part, the, the, you know, the tribe part um, is wrong. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give you a chance to give me another, another, uh, like maybe scientific miracle, something amazing. Maybe those are wrong. Maybe Allah He is right in something else. What do you think? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't, I'm not religious like that, so um, I'm not really. 
you know, um, I'm not that, I'm not a practicing person, but uh, mm. um, yeah, so I don't really know many miracles, but I, I just know the, um, the Quran and some other than the B thing. Mm. And, and, and there yeah, is something. The and there is something. The Quran is like you like something very much in the Quran. But there is something you like about it. Oh yeah, you know chapter five where it says if you killed one person, it's as if you killed um, all mankind mm. or something. But isn't it, this is a verse was given to Moses, not to Muhammad? To Moses. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I, I didn't read the Torah. Okay, can you read the verse? Yeah, sure. Okay, read the verse for us. In English? Yeah, let me put it for you if you don't have it. This is for the Jews, not for Muslims. Muhammad, he was killing people left and right. Read carefully. Muhammad, he was quoting what the Jews received from Moses. From the Bible. Not in a retaliation of God. Okay. But it doesn't say anything about um, Musa. It says, who is the one who gave the book to, to, to the Jews? Isn't it Musa? Uh, uh, he, he was God on Mount Sinai. It doesn't matter. Isn't it, isn't it Musa, their prophet? Yes. Okay. So we give this order to the Jews. Obviously, it says the children of Israel. Correct? Yes. Okay. Who is the one who gave them this message? Musa. So this is a verse for... The Jews. Okay. Look at the verse after it. The verse after it, this is for the Muslims. The response for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and do mischief in the land, only that they shall be killed and or crucified, or their hands shall be, uh, 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 and their feet shall cut off in opposite direction, or to be excelled from the from the earth and to be the, the, the graced and etc. So where is the one who says if somebody is on here, who is the one who wage war against Allah? Anyone he refuses now. Yes, me right now, that... me right now, anyone who refuses Islam waging war against Allah. And what's the interpretation for this verse? You can read any interpretation. It says it clearly. Those are anyone who don't refuse Islam. As long as long you like Ibn Kathir, right? Don't you like Ibn Kathir? Yes. Okay, Ibn Kathir says kill the Christians because they refuse to accept Allah and his religion. That make them wage war against Allah. Anyone refuse Islam is wishing war. Prince, can I pull you back in five minutes? Yeah, sure. I need right. to go in. But don't uh, go long because uh, I'm not going to stay forever here. Two minutes, two minutes, I oh, promise. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. He will leave Islam. Sooner or later. If he is really honest, he will leave Islam. And if we go to the same verse, the one we say is, it says, uh, kill an innocent person, you will see Ibn Kathir saying, Honest person is someone who is a believer. Non-believers are not honest. Actually, there is an interview with the Chawadri with the BBC. They said to him, why you don't condemn killing of innocent people in, in the attack in London? He says, well, when we say Muslims, when we, we mean we say innocent, we mean Muslims. Go watch it on YouTube. When we say innocent, we mean Muslims. For non-Muslims are not innocent, they are guilty. You can go right now and search for the video. And right now, actually, any Muslim, he can call me and I will show you the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. Right now. We have Abbas. How are you, Abbas? Uh, peace be with you, brother. How are you? I'm fine. Go ahead. I thought I'd just fill in the slot for five minutes. Hmm. Is that all right with you? What do you want to say? Uh, yeah, I'm, I want to talk about this verse, uh, chapter th um, 5, verse 32. And five verse 32. number 32 okay what do you want to say to us yeah the, the brother was just mentioning the verse all right and you are very rightly said what he said that that was allah is saying we have given to children of israel right. it's true okay 
but you have to read the both verses together hmm. 32 and 33 okay uh, now uh, let me make my point uh, verse 32 clearly says hmm. uh, those who uh, spread mischief in the land hmm. uh, or the murder only for two reasons hmm. you can kill them there are two reasons that you can kill them. Hmm. mischief in the land or murder hmm. but the next verse which is in a way you can say is more superlative more superior verse than the verse 32 which hmm. says hmm. If those who wage war against Allah and His Messenger, okay, yeah, hmm. waging war is coming to kill you, or spreading mischief in the land, same two categories were mentioned in verse 32. Waging war, coming to kill you, or spreading mischief. What hmm. are you going to do with them? But in the verse 33, for, which is for Muslims, hmm. is give you options. In those options, there are options that you can even let them go. You can even throw them out of the land. Hmm. But Allah says He gave the children of Israel only one choice. Okay, let me ask. Kill you. Them. Let me ask you. No, let me make my point. No, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. No, so, no, you are, but no, we don't want to. We don't want to waste our time, Abbas. First, Abbas, first, please, first, please. First, first, we don't want to waste our time. Just to make it uh, clear. Just wait. We are having a conversation. Did I make my point? Did Just I wait. make my point? Yeah. No, you you made your point. So you are saying those who they are waging war against Allah, correct? Those who wage right? war. Those who wage war, we will do this to them. We will cut their hands, we will kill them, we will crucify them, correct? Mm -hmm. And okay. also let them go as well. You can also let them live as well. Which, which okay, okay. okay, so but no problem. No, okay, no problem. So when we say that we kill those who wage war, who is in Islam is the one is waging war? Is it necessarily somebody holding a sword? Uh, I see, but in this context, he's talking about waging war. Okay, but I'm asking you in this contact too, yeah. is waging war is necessarily holding a sword against Muhammad? It's all depend on the context. Absolutely. My Actually, friend, uh, waging war, okay. waging war so be, if a woman she be, insulted be, the prophet, be, if a woman, if a woman she insulted the prophet, is her blood is free? Insulted the prophet? Yeah. Give me an example. Any woman, any man, any me. Like if I insulted the prophet, I'm saying prophet Muhammad is a false man. Is my blood is free or I am not, I am guilty, I should be killed. I don't know where you're going with that. This is not the question. The question is clear. If I say Muhammad is a false prophet, am I waging war? Am I waging war and I am guilty and I should be killed? Either you say yes or you say no. No, 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 that's not the point. First, no, this is the have... point. You see, you are avoiding the question. You, because you are, uh, Abbas, don't make me hang up on you. I like to speak to adult. I'm asking you, be, be a man. If a person, I am a Christian prince, I say Muhammad is a false man. Am I guilty, deserve to die for saying Muhammad is a false man? Yes or no? Are you talking about according to Hadith in the Quran? You are or saying to me, are you talking? What's wrong with you? My talk is clear. I am a Christian prince. I said one million times Muhammad is a false man. According to Islam, am I guilty or I am innocent? Should I be killed or I can live? You are spreading mischief. Of course, you are spreading mischief, and okay. you go. So I should it. be. So I should be what? killed. So I should be let killed. Me, let me answer. Let no, me answer. No, give me an answer. I, I, yes. You just said. Give me answer. You just said I'm doing mischief. The verse saying those who do mischief kill them. Correct. I'm giving you the answer. Hmm. Uh, of course, give you four options. You can let them go as well. Depend how much mischief you okay. are. Okay. So you must and now you can decide you if can you want to cut. Want. Okay, guys, look what he said. This this guy, what he don't dare to say it. He's saying. Oh, Christian Prince, if we capture you, we can either kill you or crucify you or cut your hands and feet or put nails in your eyes or we can let you go. It's up to us. But he will not say it. I didn't say You didn't let me finish my point. You, you, just, said, you just said you are doing mischief. Isn't it the verse in the Quran says, though who do mischief and kill them? I was making my point and you cut me in the middle. <laughs> okay, make your point. I want a clear answer. No, I want a clear answer. You are a coward and you, you are a coward. You will never answer. I'm asking you, Christian prince who say Muhammad is a false prophet, do he deserve according to Islam, not according to my opinion or your opinion, according to Islam, do he deserve to die, to be killed? I will give you, I will give you the answer. My friend, why the answer is so hard? Either you say yes or you say no. You're not letting me. You're not letting no, me. It's, it's very easy. Yes or no. You always ask question yes or no. There's explanation. Yes, then you can explain yes or no, because the answer should be one with them. It can't be both. Okay. If I if I yes. say Muhammad is a false prophet, listen, listen to me now. Listen to me now. If you spread a mischief, you're going to be warned. You're going to be tell, please don't do that. You got to stop it. Abbas, I think it's really bad. Listen to me. Finish. Okay. Let me finish. 
then you you got to be warned but if you don't stop you keep spreading it then these four punishments will apply on you one of them okay yes muslim they, they, muslim they send me one million, one million warning saying to me stop attacking the prophet so according to you you have a duty to kill me now no 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 it is the it is the <laughs> government not individual individual have no right who is the me. okay who is the one who have the uh, who is the one who have the right to kill me it will be the governments it will come through the legislation what government what government what government islamic well, government right so according to you okay according to you uh, according to you i should be killed by islamic government correct no it is their decision not my decision no it's problem their... but according to you you just said everybody heard you because i say this is waging war against islam i am saying saying things against muhammad so i should be killed by the government that's what you said are you going to be a, a, a banished from the land? <laughs> yeah. The whole punishment will be get lost. Mischief is get, get lost. I don't respect you. You see, I have to play around the bushes to get an answer with those people. I have to shout. I have to scream. I have to. You have to play games with them. They are like you know, you play cats and dogs, and you know, I mean, it's a shame. It's a shame. They have no respect. To themselves i mean the answer is so clear but because he live in the west because he knew he cannot say that because he knew that this is will be will, will, will he, he might he, they might even go after him if he says that so he don't dare the coward to say it they are not proud about their religion no more they're potatoes and here we have a story about a woman she insulted the prophet What happened? The man, the owner, the Muslim killed her. And what happened? Muhammad, he says, court, 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 who is the one who killed this woman? Bring him here. Well, they brought the man. He said to him, Prophet, this woman, she slander you. She defame you. She insult you. I told her not to do that. And then, I took my dagger and I killed her. I inserted my dagger inside her stomach and she was bleeding, showering her child, which was between her legs. And this is why I killed her. And then the prophet is the judge. He is the prophet of Allah. He is the government of Allah. He said, well, her, I bear witness that her blood is for free. She is a woman. She is not even a man. Her blood is for free. And this potato, he will say to me, this is not, not sahih. It's sahih. Do you see how we get you busted? Or what the women did. She insulted Muhammad. She don't like him. She believe he is a false prophet. The man, he killed her. And look here, maybe the man is lying. Maybe this is not the reason he killed her for. Muhammad, just because he said she insulted you, he said, okay, her, her blood is for free. So when they say to you, in, in Islam, we fight only those who fight us, this is what fighting them mean. You refuse Islam. Is it Muhammad, he says, I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they convert to Islam? Hmm? This is what Muhammad been ordered to do. His job is to kill all mankind. Either they convert or they die. It's in the front of you. It's not you waging war. You are already in war with Islam if you don't believe in Islam. You do not need to carry a war. You know, many stupid people in this world, they think if you attack Islam, they attack you. This is not true. Muhammad, he sent the three letters to three kings saying, convert or else, convert or die. Muhammad, he said, I am be being victorious by terror. Let us see the other Muslim who is trying to call us what he want to say. <coughs> mm. 
Yes, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you? Yes, um, I was I was listening to the person that called you before. Okay. Yes, um, yeah, and I read the verse and I also read the tafsir. Um, it's I, I, if if you if you are completely honest, you can't deny the fact that it's talking about the children of um, Bani Israel. I am the one who told you that. <laughs> yes, and I yes, and I went to read the interpretation and okay. um. Yes, um, I can send it to you on Skype if you want. Yes, but this one yeah. I said, I said this is about the children of Israel. Yes, I read the um, Tafsir of Ibn Abbas, and it's talk, it talks about um, you know um, the children of Israel. Okay, so you are repeating what I said. So and now, what do you think? Yes. What do you think about your prophet <clears throat> taking the side of a man he slaughtered a woman? She is a female slave, black slave, and he slaughtered her, the the Muslim. And just because she insulted the prophet, the prophet he said her blood is for free. There's no punishment. What do you think about that? Is that in, where is that in the where is that? Where did you get that from? This is the the hadith. The story is written by you, Muslims, not by me. Is is it on the screen now? Yeah, I always send you the link too. If you want, you can open it and read it. Well, look, I don't I don't want to um, do. What the person before did, you know, trying to give his own interpretation. If if if, some, is, if that's not, what he I says. don't care about the other one, my friend. This is a story. It's in the front of you. It's very clear. The man he killed the woman. The prophet he says bring him, because he thought it's just a crime. And the man he stood up and he explained what happened. He says she is slandering you. She used to slander and defame the messenger of Allah, a great deal, and he would rebuke her, but she would not pay heed. And he would forbid her from doing that, but she ignored him. The blind man uh, said, One night I mentioned the Prophet of Allah, and she slandered him. I could not bear it, so I went and got my dagger, which I thrust in her stomach, and I, uh, 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 I leaned open it. So like, this guy is really want to kill her. He's, he, he hate her very much for doing that. So he killed her, and... And her child, actually, by the way, the hadith says in, in different place where her child was between her legs and he was showered by the blood. And then what? when the prophet, when the prophet asked him why, look, uh, why she did that, she explained that because she is slandering, she is insulting. What the prophet judgment is, no problem, there's no punishment. Here we go. And that's that's a um, sahih. This is sahih. Yeah, here right. we go. This is the reference in the front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. And okay. And who's reporting the story? Whoever report Ibn Abbas. You mentioned to me Ibn Abbas a second ago, so you cannot say he's not good. Yes. Okay. So this is Ibn yes. Abbas. Yeah. Well, that's horrible. If okay. if that's true, that's horrible. Well, Muhammad he did more than stories. Muhammad he sp split a woman two pieces by tying her legs to two different camels, and she is eighty years old, just because she insulted him too. Was 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 she um, a a kafir or? For what? sure, she's a kafir. Anyone is a kafir. All people are kafir for Muhammad. Anyone who don't agree with him, say to him, "Yes, sir, is a kafir." Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna deny. It's true because you know. Have you heard about the Charlie Hebdo case? Yeah, in I France? know about it. Yeah, but this is not a big yes, deal. I'm... I mean, this is uh, this is normal in Islam. The Muslim no, do that. My, my friend, my friend, Muhammad, he did that in his time. I don't care what Muslims do, because Muslims can be right, can be wrong. Like today, I cannot judge Christ by me because I can be a bad person. Correct? No, but if you get your teaching from the correct. Bible, so then this is why we don't we don't go after a Muslim doing something. We have to go to the roots. This is Muhammad. Yes, it's, it's horrible what I've read. Okay. Um, I must say, I'm not going to be so lying. Why, why you want to stay as a Muslim then? Why you don't leave Islam? Well, you know, um, you know, because of my family and stuff like so that. So what your family? I mean, you are a smart person. And you know, it's a stupid religion. It's an evil religion. It's an ugly religion full of lies. So because of my family, I will believe in stupid things. That's not right for you, my friend. You are smarter than this. In my, in my heart, I know that something is fishy, um, but okay, you well, know, I can't. I can't, my, friend, I can't my, friend, my friend, I am not a Christian because my father is a Christian. Absolutely not. I don't, you know, I don't care if he's a Christian or not. This is his business because this is a personal choice 
he will go to heaven or he will go to hell. It's up to him. So I'm a Christian because I made a decision that this is the right thing for me. I'm asking you now. Just because of your family, they are Muslims, you will stay as a Muslim, but you, you agree right now with me that this is horrible. Quran is full of miracles, full of madness, stupid stories, flying carpet. Uh, 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 the, the birds who are looking for women who have uh, hair in, uh, have no hair in their legs. Ha the ant who is said to the ant, Suleiman is going to crush you. And Suleiman, he laughed at her word, but the ant is a mute, cannot even hear or even talk. They, uh, you know, creatures, they communicate, but they, not, they don't talk. He, it says he, he heard her words. So how in the world this can be from God? It's obvious. And you are a smart person who, you got, God bless you. He gave you the internet. He gave you a computer. He gave you technology. He gave you things. He gave us a chance, me and you, to meet and talk. So this is a blessing from God that you are in the end of the world. I am in the other side of the world. Yet we are talking. This is really an opportunity. Might not repeat again. So I'm asking you, as long you agree that this is a garbage cult, why you stay there? Just say, I am out. Yeah, well, I have I have a um, Arab friend who explains things for me. He reads it in My Arabic. Friend, you are a, your friend is not a friend because he's a friend. He should be honest with you and tell you the truth. You just told me. He told you that the backbone means something else. He is not a friend. My friend is the one who honest with me. It doesn't matter what I'm talking about. Anything else, he is not a friend. Yeah, um, yeah. Like in, like I said, in my heart, I know um, some things are fishy. And, okay, in your you heart, know, something uh, is fishy. So now it's it's not in your heart. It's, it's in I'm, your. Brain. I'm not going to be like um, you know denying things that are so true or give my own interpretation. Like I heard the person before you, he was. Um, Trying to make it fit with the West, and you know, um, but you know, if that's what he said, then you just gotta ad admit it. You friend, can't deny everything it. I say. Everything. I, I never will say something unless it's true and I can prove it. Otherwise, people will laugh at me. Otherwise, and even, especially even, even, because even, that... even the Christians they will lose their trust on me. You know, this is, and not only that. And on top of that, I have to fear God because if I'm lying to you, that's mean I'm no Christian no more. I lost, I lost my salvation. So. I have no reason to lie to you, my friend. But in Islam, officially, you can lie. Chapter 3, verse number 28. There's tons of verses. You can lie, and you will not be questioned by Allah. Even the Quran says, you know, Allah will not question you for false oath. You can take even a false oath in Islam. In Christianity, Jesus said, say yea, yeah, yea, yeah, or nay, nay, which means you cannot take an oath. Anything else is from the devil. Those who take oath, they are obviously lying. They, 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 they jump to say, I will take an oath because now he's saying to us, I lie all my life, but today I decide to be honest. So I'm going to take an oath. A Christian person should not take an oath because he should be always telling the truth without oath. So we have a religion saying you can lie. You yeah. can make a statement which is a false statement. You can say something in your heart, but in, in, your, in your lips is something else. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Here we go. This is, Ibn, this is Ibn Abbas, the one you like. It says, I don't like him. I just looked at doesn't the matter if you like him or not. Who cares about it? It's not about liking. We're not taking selfie with him. But this is what the teaching is. It says here that the Muslim who take non Muslims as a friend and he is sincere. If he is sincere, he who is sincere. Yes, I know. Take, I know. Yeah. So if you do that, you have no honor, no protection, no mercy from Allah. Unless, unless what? Unless that you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking it as a way of security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. This is the devil. I know, I know, I know. Your friend was doing taqiyya with you, my friend. Or tawriya. He was doing taqiyya, exactly. He's trying to protect Islam against your thought. You have a question? He knew that you have a yes, question. I I know. Listen, I know. I, I come. I come from a Muslim majority country, and I know um, what uh, the things that we're told about Christians, Jews, and unbelievers. So, okay. um, I'm sure. not going to be here. Are, are, where are you from? Are you Arab? I am an Arab. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I said I am an Arab. Yes. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you? Are you? Are you Arab yourself? I am an Arab. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, well, then you know um, the things that, you know, we're, we're told about Christians and Jews from exactly. a very young age. Yeah. So, now, um, my so friend, yeah, I know about this. I'm not going to deny them. My friend, let us let us be smart. You are an intelligent man. And today you call me for a reason. 
and you you just arrived to a conclusion that this is horrible and we heard you saying that and this is a great news for you you are making your mind and you are awake so why you don't say i am out i just want to ask you one more question if that's okay for you Good. If, if you're not in a hurry or something no problem um i've heard one of the things that make me wonder um so much is um, praying in the direction of the Kibra, it doesn't make sense to me because if God is omnipresent and everywhere, then there, there shouldn't be a direction to pray. God is everywhere. You can pray in whichever direction you want. So that's one of the things that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, and I've heard many people say that the direction wasn't even chosen by Allah. It was chosen by Umar, but I, I don't have evidence for that. I'm not sure. Do you know yes. anything about that? Yes, it says, وَفَقَنِ رَبِّ فِي ثَرَاثِ my Lord, he agreed with me in three things. In fact, there's many hadith says he agreed with me in seven. Some they say ten. So Allah, he agreed with Omar in three things. And one of them is the direction and making the, the, the Kaaba as a, a, a prayer station. And here you need to ask yourself, what kind of God? He forgot about the Kaaba all those years. Muhammad was praying to Jerusalem all these years. Suddenly, Omar al-Khattab, he said, Okay, well, let us pray to Jerusalem, pray to Kaaba, you know, and that supposedly was an idea from uh, Omar, and Allah, he liked the idea. And not only that, uh, you know, uh, Allah, he took the, the words of Muhammad, and, uh, you know, uh, he, he brought the verse exactly as Omar, he said. And you because... are the one who said to me a few minutes ago, if you remember, yeah. that the Quran itself is a miracle, right? Yes. Okay, should Allah then copy Quran from Omar? If nobody can make Quran, but Allah takes yes. his Quran from Omar, how that can be? Yes. Well, in the Quran it says, um, I can't remember the verse and so on, but it says that with Allah is talking and it says, I've, I've chosen the direction for prayer for you. So basically he said, I've no, chosen no, no the problem, direction. No problem, but you see, this is Islamic reference and this is Muslims yes. who preserve those yes. references. It says, read carefully with me. So the verse, the verse was revealed the same as I had said. Do you see it? Yes. But I thought nobody can make Quran like, like the Quran. But Allah here is copying Omar. And he put what Omar said exactly in the Quran. Yes, because, you know, it's hard for me to admit it, but even if something is written in the Quran, we don't have a guarantee that it's 100% from Allah. It could have been, My friend, you know, who wrote the about it's 100% down. or not. Now we have a, 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 a story where all the Muslims agree upon it. That Omar, he said something, Allah, he take it and he put it in the Quran. The Muslims agree, not me. This is not a Christian uh, uh, reference. So as long as the Muslims, they agree that yes, Allah, he learned from, he took from Omar. Omar, he says something, Allah, he take it, he make a Quran. That's mean Omar, he's making a Quran too. Yes, um, yeah, that, that doesn't sound right. Secondly, is I, is second, I denied the secondly, Quran order. if not Omar, Muslim women, they will not wear hijab. I mean, how in the world this is happening? Omar, the story says that Omar, he keep asking Muhammad to make his wives wear hijab, wear hijab, wear hijab. Muhammad, he don't answer. Then one day, uh, Omar, he made fun of Sauda. She was doing poo-poo. So the reason for the hijab for all Muslim in the world is the poo-poo, the ass of Sauda. And the the, the 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 savage Omar who is making fun of her ass, this is the reason. All this time, Allah did not notice that women they should wear hijab, just because Omar he said something and again, again, as Omar said, Allah took the verse, he put it in the Quran, and he make the order for hijab. Yes, yeah, that does that that doesn't sound right at all with me. Okay, so I mean, did, have you ever seen something we today which we spoke about sound right anything? There's nothing. There's nothing in this book. Sound right? Yeah. Well, you you know the things that uh, were told. Um, you know, some parts of the world about you know um how Muhammad um was like one of the best generals, one of the best persons, and that kind of stuff. Our friend Muhammad uh, is the um, best man between all mankind. But this is always a fabrication yeah. of those. You know, who wrote this history about the best man? It's the Muslims. If the Muslims describe Muhammad as horrible as they are describing him after they say he is the best man, so imagine how was bad he is. To make it simple for you, you know this, you listen, know the listen, story listen, of, listen, 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 my friend, just carefully. Let us say I was in the army of Hitler and Hitler was victorious. And now I'm writing how amazing Hitler is. And I say, there's a guy, he have a slave and the slave, she was insulting Hitler. 
And then Hitler said, who killed this slave? Bring him here. And then the guy, he stood and he said, Hitler, this slave was insulting you. And Hitler, because he's amazing and he's all justice, he said, because she is insulting me, her, his, her blood is for free. Remember, this is a history written by the Muslims. So if this is the great man, the great history, the Muslims here, when they wrote those stories, they are proud of it. They are not reporting something to be ashamed of. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. And even be between the hadiths, there's disagreement uh, between different schools of thought. My friends, no, the just... disagreement, let me tell you about the disagreement. This is all is a, is, a, is, a, is a garbage talk. Because the Muslims, when they disagree about something, it's just to support a propaganda. As an example, if you are a Shia, you say this book I don't agree with. If you are a Sufi, everyone here has his own propaganda, so to support his ideas. Yeah. Otherwise, all those hadiths, there's no guarantee. And the Quran, too, there's no guarantee. Okay. If we go now in the page number A in the Quran, I don't know if you have the Arabic Quran. It says that this Quran, according to recitation of the following, or oh, Hafs, Hafs, Ibn Asim, and Asim, Ibn blah, blah, blah. Okay, what is the Quran? There's no Quran. All of this is recitation. Yes. Okay, what and is the proof? What is the proof that this is the true Quran? If Asim himself accused by a Muslim to be a fraud, and there's, there's a Quran in Welsh, uh, you know, people in Morocco, they have uh, Welsh or Welsh, I don't know what it's called. There's yeah, there's, there are, there's many Quran, <laughs> yeah, correct. But, yes, but, my uh, friend, my friend, but, but I'm trying to tell you that the idea of who support and who agree, this is depend in the propaganda and the agenda. Uh, as an example, the king of Saudi Arabia right now, to support his royal family, they push some hadith in the front, don't go against the ruler, you know what I mean? It's a game. It's just yeah. to control. So yeah, political or exactly. So but but the hadith is there and nobody can deny it. But if you have a if you have an agenda, you can say this is weak anytime you want. You can say I don't agree with it. Because yeah, you are not true. saying I don't agree with Muhammad, but they will say, Oh, this guy, I don't trust this uh, report. You see? Like to avoid to be like you are a guy denying what Muhammad said, you say, I don't I don't trust this guy. But you don't you don't dare to say I don't trust Muhammad. So this is a dirty game. Like when we show the Muslims saying, the Quran saying that the sun set in murky water, they start saying to us, uh, it doesn't what? say that. Wait, say that again, sun sitting in what? In a muddy hot water. <coughs> in a what? What do you mean in setting it in a water? The Quran says the sun set in a muddy water. Chapter 18, verse number 86. How, how, how is that possible? You can't set in a... This is what the Quran is saying. <laughs> they ask Muhammad, tell us about Zul Qurnayn. Can you show me that, please? Yeah, it's in the screen. Now, every Muslim who defends Islam, he will give you his own propaganda answer. Oh, it doesn't say really. This is how Zul Qurnayn he thought. It doesn't say that. Read it carefully. The Allah is reporting that Zul Qurnayn is not talking. Saying that when his Allah he established for him in the earth. What's Hamya? Hamya means hot, boiling. Oh. Yeah. So we establish for him. They, they are asking you. They, they ask you. The same as uh, the, the other stories. You know, they ask you. They ask you about the, the, the crescent moon. Uh, they are asking him how the crescent moon happened. So he could not. He have no answer. He says this is for timing. <laughs> but it's not a question. They are asking him how this happened. How this moon sometimes is crescent, sometimes it's round, but he have no answer. He said this is for timing. Then they said they are asking you about Zul Qurnayn, and there is no guy. His name is Zul Qurnayn. Have you ever heard of a guy that have a name Zul Qurnayn? The word Qurnayn in Arabic mean two horn. Have you ever yeah, heard of a human have two horn? No. So. Oh, the thingy. Um, there was there was a legend. There was some legend legends. Yeah, I think I know where you refer to. This is Alexander the Great. There is there is a legend about written about Alexander the Great. Yeah by a Syrian person, a person from Syria, he wrote a story about Zul Qurnayn, full of fiction, but the, the, the person is real, but the story around him is fiction. So Muhammad, he took it, and look, he said, we established for him in the earth, and we gave him all means, so he's a prophet of Allah. And then, so he followed away, until when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Can you tell me where the sitting place of the sun? It does wrong. It can scientifically. It can be. You know, he doesn't have. A but he is saying until he reached the setting place of the sun. This is the one is talking is Allah, not the guy. 
Well, that's not right. It doesn't make sense. That's that's stupid. Not only that's right. So it's not a place and, and because then, if you're in China, right? Yeah, uh, it's going to be different. No, my friend, not, the sunset understand. everywhere. I'm talking to you right now. It's sunset in my in my in my house, and I can see the sun setting from my window. I do not need to go anywhere. Correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Until until when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it. When you say I found it, I'm reporting a find. Correct? It's yes. a fact. It's not like he thought. As Muslims, they try to say, he found it sitting in a spring oh, it's, it's of Hamia. So, well, and the Muslim, they say, oh, he meant like when he saw the sun going in the ocean. Oh, first of all, my friend, it doesn't say ocean. It says a spring, and a spring is not an ocean, correct? Yes, yeah, spring is okay. water. Yeah. Yeah. Why it says a spring? Because there's legions about the, uh, the uh, you see. Oh, still like, water and spring water. No, there is, there is like uh, many, they could not explain why some places in the, in the earth have boiling water. In the ground so many they have oh, a vision yeah. that this is because the sun jump in that water and that water this is the the, the place where the sun uh, sleep so this is a legion muhammad he took it he put it in the quran and then he found near it near what near where the sun sit in place <laughs> how how in yeah. the world this is and then the muslims in order to save uh, you know they give you this false translation uh, interpretation but Muhammad, as usual, he cannot keep his mouth shut. Muhammad, he, he is a he's a very good man in, in a, when it's come to stupidity. So he cannot keep his mouth shut. And look what he said. That Muhammad, he was riding in his donkey, as usual. And Abu there, he was behind him. I was sitting I don't behind. Understand why, yeah, sorry, I don't understand why you have to lie in order to... Because it's a matter of salvation. If you lie about your salvation, you're like you're fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself, really. Exactly. But it's, and that's but, why. But because sometimes in I'm Islam, honest. my friend, because in Islam it's allowed to lie. So it's a practice. It's a tradition. It's religious. So it's a it's good to lie in Islam. Actually. There's many many Muslim scholars. They are they are proud about somebody lied to someone and made him convert to Islam. It's not a shame because supposedly he is saving him. So I was sitting behind yes. the messenger of Allah. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting? Uh, he asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, It's set in a spring of warm water. Do you see it? Yes, Hamia. So, why they lie to us? They say, This is how Zul Kurnain he thought, and this is not what it says. Do you understand? Yeah, things are clear. I don't understand. That's one of the things that kind of makes me wonder. Like, if he's, he clearly says this, why? You have to give your own interpretation and yes yeah, sometimes i don't understand it so you know after all this conversation my friend what do you think why do you want to leave islam well to be honest in my heart i, I just you know I, I try to like explain and say maybe there's enough way but when you really if you if you're honest to yourself um you know and a bit intelligent you don't have i mean you don't really have to lie because you're lying to yourself if that's what he says um, that's what it is. But for me to, you know, to go out officially and say um, that I left it, you know, there's going to be a bit of consequences. You know, where I'm from is not that easy to say, look, I just left it. So, um, you're, even you're, though... so, so let me understand you. You are saying you are not going to say I left, but in your heart you left. Yeah, I always had one. Um, I always wondered, and even this praying in, in, in the direction of the My Qibla friend, just didn't make you, sense to me. You are, you are a person who just left Islam, but you don't want to say I left Islam. I got it. Okay. Good yeah, friend. what I'm from is difficult. Um, I understand. Um, so, my friend, I'm happy for you. You call me to prove to me Islam to be true, and we have the end of the conversation. You agree with me that Islam is a false religion. That's wonderful. Happy for you. Well, if, you're, if, if I'm completely honest, um, I'll have to admit, logically, I'll have to admit that, you know, scientifically, there are some things that don't make sense. Uh, you know, the sun setting again, it, it doesn't make sense. You can lie, you can say, okay, it's how someone saw it and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you're fooling yourself, to be honest. And I don't want to do that because, you know, it's a matter of salvation. It's not. Exactly. Uh, so my and friend, if I have to lie, then I'm lying my to friend, myself, I, no one I, else. I, 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 will, I, will, I will let you think. You, you know, I know you left Islam today. I'm happy for you. But I want you, I want you to think about reading the gospel, reading the word of Christ. The, the Injil. The Injil, exactly. And think about accepting the true word of God. And you will see how amazing the Messiah is. I yeah, invite because, you uh, to, to accept uh, the Messiah. Where I'm from, I will see Christian people, yeah, Christian people, they, they tend to 
I'm, I'm not trying to say anything bad, but they always tend to be happier and you know, um, more um, happier and also more. They're not that nervous, you know, um, com compared to us. We always know. My nervous friend, and you always go to the mosque. Trust. You go right now. You go tomorrow. Go in the mosque in the morning. Work, watch the people going inside the mosque. They are fine. They go from the mosque. Everybody's upset. Everybody's angry. You know, it's a place uh, yeah. where, where hate is generated. We as a Christian, when we go in the church, we pray for all the world. Muslim, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists. It is what Jesus said. Pray for those who curse you. Pray for those who uh, insult you. Those who they are discriminating you. Those who they are killing you. Jesus in the cross, he says to the Jews, when the Jews are screaming at him, your blood is in our hand. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. This is the difference, my friend. This is why we are happy people to be following Christ. Because Christ, he take our anger. Anger is a poison will kill you. Hate is a poison inside you. You will be the first victim of your hate because you will never enjoy anything. You will not enjoy even a second with your children because you are, you think, this is why Muslims always, they think there's a conspiracy against us. Those are Islamophobic. Those are attacking us. Those, but the, 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 the truth is the opposite. Go and see how many people just killed in the last seven days in the name of Allah in Nigeria. Like in Nigeria, they, yes. in Nigeria, they release hundreds of girls. Imagine they are kidnapping them for what? They kidnap them just to rape them and make them have babies. That's all. They yeah. want the baby. I raised, I raised, yeah, I raised this issue with my friend, and he said, uh, for example, ISIS. He said those are not um, Muslim. But then again, if you think about Why it, they are not whose Muslims? name are Muhammad? He did the same. Muhammad, he kidnapped the women, he raped the women, and he took their babies. What? what, what? <laughs> you see, if you are following Jesus, how I can say to you, you are not a Christian. If you are following Muhammad, how I can say to you, you are not a Muslim. Correct? Yeah, that's true. And also the fact that you know, um, when when us they say we're killing in the name of um, Allah, they're not they're not saying any other names. So, yeah, if you think about it, the teachings and the things that they get him from is you know from the Quran or the Hadiths or whatnot. Correct. Well, so I'm, yeah, I'm happy that I have you today. Feel free to call me again if you wish. And if you can let your Arab friend call me, that would be a good challenge. Tell him to yes. call. Tell him, hey, listen, yeah. listen. As long you I'm, I'm, tell him, I'm sure you can do better than me because you speak Arabic. I want you to get this guy. His name is a Christian Prince Busted. Yes, um, he's from Egypt. No matter where, don't tell me. I don't care. I don't care how big he is, how small he is, how long his beard. All of them, they are the same for me. They will end as they yes. enter, you know? Just let yeah. him come. And, and you can ask any sheikh you want, not only this guy. I mean, any sheikh, the bigger he is, the better it is. Trust me. And you will have fun. You will have fun. Trust me. No. You, you will love yeah. it. For me, it's, for me, it's clear, um, regardless. Um, but um, are, you, are, you, are you coming on tomorrow? So I don't know. My friend. Maybe I, I, I have bring no it to my house. I come sometime. I, I, if I can, I will be here tomorrow. Subscribe. Uh, turn yeah. on your notification. And if, if we are here, you will, you will know. Okay, and I'll let him sp uh, speak to you. But for me, yeah, for me, it's, for me, um, it's it's clear. Um, you know, in my heart, I always had doubts and stuff. But now, the you know, you made them clear. All right, my friend. Well, I'm happy to have you, and thank you for calling. Take care. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome.